the Amazon, all the sacred waters of the world, all intermingled, and we ask for a blessing on Ernest, and we ask that he is granted eternal life through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> We have been remembering with love and gratitude a life that touched us all. I encourage you to help support and love those who grieve most. Allow them to cry, to hurt, to smile, <coughs> to remember. Grief works through our systems in its own time. Remember to bless each day and to live it to the full in honor of life itself and of Ernest Shute. We often take life for granted, and yet it is the greatest gift God gave us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lifts up his countenance upon you and gives you peace. So then go in peace, and the God of all peace go with you. Amen. Amen. Um, Ernest's son, Jeff, who uh, cared for Ernest, for many years, will now recite, recite uh, Psalm 23, the Psalm of David, and uh, it's in your booklets too, if you want to follow along. Psalm 23, a Psalm by David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, you comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me in all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Jim. Please join us in singing How Great Thou Art. It's also in your uh, folder. Thank you. 